We think that everything electronic is now tending to be smaller and smaller. And we expect it to be more efficient. So not just smaller, but more efficient, more powerful. That means that all the systems are becoming, we're constraining them, the dimensions. And we cannot then expect that all the behaviors, all the properties will be the same. It just cannot be. There is a physical limit to everything. How is it that everything behaves when we make it such smaller, when we're changing the boundary conditions for these materials to operate? I would consider myself more of a material scientist. My area of research is solid state physics. I use transmission electron microscopy tools to investigate materials. I will go and look into the structure and chemical properties of the material and try to link those from the micro nanoscale to the macro scale, see where the properties come from and why they behave the way they are, and that will give us an insight into engineering new materials. Initially, my PhD was only in functional oxides, so ceramics that may, might be used for electronic industry. And even in my postdoc, I continued that line. Once I got here, I started diversifying and trying to get in touch with other departments such as chemistry or even the food safety and we're just starting to run different exciting projects on uh, for example semiconductors with Seagate also recently starting to work towards more biomedical applications uh, then the other part is networking. Networking is so important nowadays more than ever, now that we're in this very globalized market. But to actually be working with the right people or to be able to do multidisciplinary research that just opens up the opportunities.